to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Yeah, um, for my interest, for the sake of my interest, I... Not really my personal interest. My interest is because um, the gospel is involved and I want to do this. I, I, I heard that the parents of the child who was said to have been born with cerebral palsy, uh, that they are in trouble in the UK. Hold on, you're going to hear the areas, the area in which they said or somebody said that they are in trouble. I I listened to one sister yesterday who I think is also living in the UK. He was uh, saying certain things about the status of the parents of the child that the government takes care of the child's uh, medical bills as um, long as she is in the UK. And as a result, uh, the claim that the child has been healed would make the government to stop. Uh, that made that's this whole thing very, very interesting. Because indeed, UK is not Nigeria. And as I was going through some comments under that video that I made, I also read something similar. Here, the writer here said, if the child was healed, then she's no longer entitled to disability allowance and PIP. She will only be getting child benefits like every other child. The parents will also be in trouble by the social services. We will send details to the NHS about the family. If this really happened, of course, it will make headlines in the UK. This is not Nigeria. Watch the space. So this is becoming very, very interesting. And, um, you know, just like I reiterated, I said in the video, I want to reiterate that there is nothing God cannot do. And that brings me, I'll come back to this. Now that I remember this, that brings me to this um slogan by uh, jerry Eze and his followers what god cannot do does not exist what god cannot do does not exist i've are. had so many people are trying to twist that um if i mention somebody's name now they will say i hate him but there is no way i would keep him out of the discussion because he is i think he is the first person that started attacking that statement uh, dr Ebert damina what God cannot do does not exist. What God does not do does not exist. Which now establishes that God is responsible for everything. He kills, he makes a life. He destroys, he does everything. What God, some of you have it. What God does not. Some of you have it inside your phones. Some of you, that's your screensaver. Something is wrong with your mandula or blangata. You need to be cross-examined. Listen. Écoutez. For those of you who have been listening to me from around the world, you've heard me make comments concerning this preacher, Abel Damina. Vous m'avez entendu faire des commentaires concernant Abel Damina. I discovered j'ai découvert that he's just qu'il est juste an empty noise maker. Il est juste un faiseur de miracles de bruit vide. It's just a vide. distraction. C'est juste la distraction qu'il fait. The truth is he's saying nothing. Parce que la vérité c'est qu'il ne dit rien. There's nothing he's saying that can build up Christ in any listener. That and there is nothing in him in a, what he's saying. Il n'y a rien dans ce qu'il dit. That produces true righteousness. Il produit la justice vraie. So I consider what he's saying therefore. Que je peux dire par rapport à ce qu'il dit. His own faith. Je vois comme s'il un manque de foi, c'est sa part de religion, And I am not part of that religion. et je ne fais pas partie de cette so religion. Why am I with it? Pourquoi alors je vais m'inquiéter de cela you are behaving like somebody that did not attend the world church because when you attend the world church and you have a good pastor it will be an insult for you to join those who don't even have a good pastor to be shouting what god does not do does not exist that means god is responsible for killing the unborn babies god is responsible for the destruction of men's lives god is responsible for everything because what god does not do does not exist Death exists, God is responsible. Sickness exists, God is responsible. Poverty exists, God is responsible. Disaster exists, what God does not do, does not exist. God is a liar, lie exists. God is a thief, stealing exists. 
you follow unschooled people to be quoting their cliche because you yourself you don't know God. What God cannot do does not exist. Because Parce que there is nothing God cannot do. Parce y a rien que Dieu ne puisse faire. And there is nothing God has not done. Et y a rien que Dieu pas encore fait. He said God cannot Il dit que Dieu be tempted with evil. Ne peut pas être tenté par la God méchanceté. cannot. Dieu. They are reading James. But in the Dieu. garden of Eden. Et dans le jardin Eden, he God created two trees. Dieu a créé deux choses. One was the tree of life. Another one was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God put them there in that garden by himself. Is there anything too hard for God to do? In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 16. Colossians 1 verse 16. This is the way Apostle Paul put it. Paul by him. Car en lui, we are all things he created ont été créées toutes choses that are in heaven qui sont dans les cieux and that are in earth et sur la terre, visible and invisible les visibles et les whether invisibles, they be thrones les trônes, or dominions dignité, or principalities or powers autorité, all things were created by him and for him par lui et pour lui. see the interesting one in Proverbs chapter 16 et and verse 4 Intéressant dans Proverbe 16, verset. The Lord has made all things for Himself. L'Éternel a tout fait pour un but. Yeah. Même evil, He made even the wicked. Même les méchants. For the day of evil. Pour le jour du malheur. Alleluia. Alleluia. And that is why. Ça c'est pourquoi. Job said you will receive both good and evil from God. Job a dit comme nous allons recevoir le bien et le mal de Dieu. Will I receive good and not receive evil also? Le bien, le mal de Dieu. Praise the Lord. Louez l'Éternel. He said God does not kill. Il a dit Dieu ne tue Who pas. Who told you that God doesn't kill? Qui t'a dit que Dieu ne tue pas? The Bible tells us He kills and He makes alive. La Bible dit qu'il tue et il donne la vie. Alleluia. Alleluia. Even the keys of hell and death are in His hand. Même les clés de l'enfer, de la vie et la mort sont dans ses mains. Praise the Lord. Louez l'Éternel. The Bible tells us God created all. Things and for his pleasure, they were created. So, Isaiah 45, verse 7. Isaiah 45, 7. I form the light. Je forme la lumière. This is thus said the Lord. Ça c'est ainsi dit l'Éternel. And create darkness. Et je crée les ténèbres. I make peace. Je donne la postérité. And create evil. Et je crée l'adversité. I, the Lord, do all these things. Moi, l'Éternel, je fais toutes ces choses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James chapter 1 verse 13. Let no man say, I am tempted of God. For, stop. For, what God cannot do does not exist. God cannot. God cannot. There are things God cannot do. And they exist. Don't let miracle seeker slogans sweep your, your rug off your feet of sound Bible study. Those slogans are for miracle seekers. What God cannot do does not exist. What God is for miracle seekers. It's for unbelievers. The popularity of a thing doesn't make it the truth. Let me pick the last statement he made. Que je prenne le dernier point qu'il a élevé. The popularity of a thing does not make it the truth. Le... La réalité de quelqu'un ne fait pas de ça la vérité. But the eloquent presentation of a matter does not make it the truth also. Mais une présentation éloquente on ne fait pas de ça la vérité aussi. No matter how eloquent you are, quelle que soit la manière que vous soyez éloquent, when you come before a judge, quand vous venez devant un juge, it's not looking at your eloquence. Il ne regarde pas ton éloquence. It's looking at the facts. Il regarde les faits. Jerry Eze. Jerry Eze. That he made a statement that what God cannot do. Il a fait un point que ce que Dieu ne Does peut pas faire n'existe pas. Listen, écoutez. When you are listening to a preacher, quand vous écoutez un prêcheur, don't just look at the letter of what he's saying. Ne regardez pas seulement ce qu'il dit. Get into the spirit of what he's saying. Allez dans l'esprit de ce qu'il dit. What that preacher 
is saying ce que ce prêcheur dit is another way of saying c'est une autre manière de dire there is nothing impossible before god il n'y a rien d'impossible devant dieu and dr ebed damina speaks like somebody who has gone to school et dr damina parle comme quelqu'un qui est parti à l'école he speaks english il parle l'anglais and yet he's listening to somebody speaking et il écoute quelqu'un qui parle and he cannot decode what the person is saying et il ne peut pas décoder ce que la personne dit and he's talking about what james say et il parle de ce que jacques a dit that god cannot tempt somebody with evil que dieu ne peut pas tenter quelqu'un avec la méchanceté even abedamina does not read the context of what james is saying même abedamina ne comprend pas le contexte de ce que jacques dit let's hear what the scripture says look chapter 1 Luc chapitre 1 verse 37 verset 37 Now everybody let's go what Tout does he say for with God rien nothing rien shall be impossible possible à Dieu Matthieu chapter 19 Matthieu 19 verse 26 verset 26 But Jesus beheld them Jésus les regarda and said unto them et leur dit Everybody shall we go tout le monde allons-y with men this is impossible but with God all things are possible possible See what Job said in Job Regardez chapter 42 Job dit dans Job chapitre Another statement in verse 2 I know that thou can do Everything. Je reconnais que tu peux tout. And, and that no thought can be withholding from thee. Et rien ne s'oppose à tes pensées. What did Job say? Let's Je read it. I know Je that sais. thou can do tu everything. Tu. God can do everything. Dieu peut faire toute chose. Jeremiah chapter 32. Jeremiah 32. Verse 17. Verset 17. This yeah. was the exclamation of Jeremiah, Ah Lord God, ah, Seigneur Eternel, behold, voici, thou hast made the heaven tu as fait les cieux et la terre, and the earth et la terre, by thy great power and strength and, and stretched out arm. Everybody, the next statement shall we go? And there is nothing too hard for thee. The church will say, And God asked Abraham in Genesis chapter 18 and verse 14, Is anything too hard for the Lord? Everybody say it again. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Listen, church. It's important you understand what Uh, that pastor Jerry Eze is saying. C'est que ce pastor Jerry Eze est saying. I agree with him. Je suis là. That there is nothing impossible with our God. Il y a rien d'impossible avec notre Dieu. I really don't know why people will find trouble with that, a problem with that, right? When anybody is saying that, is not saying it with the sense that God can do evil. Now, uh, you know, in trying to justify what he meant, said God cannot lie. So that there are things that God cannot do. But if you are sincere, you will understand that they are saying that in the sense of impossibilities. Jesus said, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. And the Lord himself said, I am the almighty God, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? So it is in the sense of God being able to solve all situations. Things that no man can do is possible with God. That is in the sense, so when you say what God cannot do does not exist, you are not including the fact that God can cheat, that God can lie, that God can be unrighteous. That is not in that sense. So I see, I'm still a believer in the fact that God can do all things and that God is a miracle worker. Now, before the parents of this child came out to affirm that their daughter has received some form of miracle, And they believe God that gradually things will normalize, that the girl will come goodness and perfection for healing. What I'm does sure God cannot do does not exist. We are the Chukwetose family. We have come to give glory to God for what God has done in the life of our daughter. Our daughter was born with cerebral palsy, and um, as a result, she had 
um, delayed de developmental milestones, which are typically affected her motor skills. Uh, we joined NSPPD in 2021. We were trusting God for her miracles, and um, this this situation demanded that we do lots of therapy. This really affected our finances. At some point, we just you know gave up because it was too much. Yeah. We could not um, handle the financial obligation that it required, so we decided to relocate to the UK. And um, upon coming here to the UK, my daughter has been confined to the wheelchair, which made her, you know, be progressed with the little things she could even do before, and um, made her always feel sad and feel bad that she could not, she could not play, she could not be with friends. You know, it, it was just a lot that really affected us as a family. So we went for NSPPD UK prayer conference in 2023 in, in Excel, Excel, right? Yeah. We went and uh, we were believing God for a testimony. And um, even though nothing happened there, we still trust God that God, our time will come one day. We kept joining the prayer altar, kept praying and trusting God. My daughter never misses the testimony. Like That's usually the time when she's on her way to school. She's always, always, she always takes her phones and she's listening to testimony on the road while she's on a wheelchair. So when it was time for a UK prayer conference, again in 2024, we were like, okay, we're not gonna miss it. And um, we went over and we, as a family, we believed God that even though we wheeled our, our daughter in there on a wheelchair, we we're not gonna leave there with her on the wheelchair. So we're not going to leave Twickenham Stadium. Twickenham Stadium. In the wheelchair. Yes. That mm -hmm. was that was our that was our belief and we you know kept trusting God for it. We went with our kids, we went over and then um, my daughter joined in the prayer. Yes. Pastor Jerry you're, you're really affecting the next generation. She joined in the prayer and as soon as Pastor Jerry started saying check yourself, do what you couldn't do before. before. My daughter, the things she found difficult to do, which she could not do, she started doing them. The things that she would do when she would fall, she was doing them without even falling. I was like, okay, wait a minute, something is happening right here. This is the, this. There is a difference right here, and um, I remember left to me as a parent, maybe because we are a private family. Left to me as a parent, we just mm -hmm. want to like, okay. So, thank God for your healing, let's go home. But my yeah. daughter was shouting, Mommy, I'm healed. Mommy, see me, I can do this. I can do that. And she Thank kept you. doing it. Now, I'm sure that they are also aware of this uh, uh, stringent condition in the UK. You know, so we will actually be watching this uh, keenly as it develops. You know, I said in that video that uh, these are the kind of things that BBC would want to do. And I am not saying this like I'm not trying to sound like people like Rita Bai and Joshua Iginla who are mad at BBC for doing documentary on TB Joshua. Now, so I'm I'm I am certain that they would want to do this, but the unfortunate thing is this: it is also possible that mainstream media may, media may not want to report this kind of miraculous feat if ever you know it it ha is confirmed that it is true. I remember when there was crisis, you know, between December 19 to December 2019, 2020-2021, that crisis that, you know, erupted and disrupted our world. Many people were talking about them having solution to what was happening then. And they were being shut down. They were being, their mouths were being closed. Nobody wanted to hear them. But some of them, their, their licenses allegedly were withdrawn, you know, for sensitizing people against what was being imposed on people that time so there is a possibility that even when this thing happens and they find find out that it is true now like the woman confirmed that even the therapist who was taking care of the child could confirm that there were some kinds of developments happening in the girl's life and we bless god for what god has done mm -hmm. in the life of our daughter today i took her for her physio again and um, i remember they were just making comments like oh wow she did this beautifully well oh wow she did this fine that that's good you know and we believe god that god who has begun this would definitely okay. complete it concerning mm -hmm. our child Pastor Jerry. so i want to say this and uh, put it out there that i will be interested it will be an interesting story to actually know what 
eventually happen. I believe that they knew the consequences of coming out to say that the girl has been healed, whereas she, she has not been healed. And more so, um, it, it, it is also unfair, you know, when people are attacking pastors sometimes because there are certain people that on their own, they came out, nobody prompted them to come out. They came out believing that something has happened to them. That happens a lot. In so many places, it, it happens a lot. There are some that will come out, you know, believing that once they say it, it is an exercise of their faith. Then the healing comes upon them, you know, already. But we also saw people who could do what they said they were not able to do. Those that came with clutches, but they could run and jump. The army officer, that, that man alone is enough, is enough witness that actually there were people. And like I said, it was not Jerry Eze that healed them, right? It was not Jerry Eze that healed them. Now, I, I would also say that, um, you know, let us be coming down. Let nobody fight for Jerry Eze. This is very important. Don't fight for Pastor Jerry Eze. Even if anybody is calling him a fake pastor, it is not your duty to defend him if he is fake or if he is original. The God that called him will vindicate him. If he is fake, definitely, you know, he can only last, you know, uh, 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 as long as possible, right? Don't go out of your way to begin to insult people. This is what false pastors and their false followers are known for. If you think your pastor is genuine, your pastor is original, now calm down. Don't insult people. Don't, don't, don't venerate the man, all right? Like, you know, these days, everybody is becoming papa, papa, papa. It's somehow irritating that you see an older person calling a, a younger man papa. And that is not what the Bible said. The Bible tells the minister, to regard the, the older persons as father and then treat a fellow youth as brothers. That is what the Bible says. Meanwhile, I don't say you cannot call an older minister. If you wish to call him father, if you wish to call him daddy, that is your business. But let us not all this papa thing, papa thing, papa thing. You know, it, it, it gives more room for people to, to attack the church and because this papa thing has paparized so many people. And I, I started hearing papa, papas, with all due respect to the South Africans, I think papa of a thing came from South Africa. Yeah, we were used to daddy in Nigeria. But then somehow when the, the social media opened up, we started hearing papa, papa, papa. Call him pastor. Pastor, look at this. Pastor, look at this. Pastor, look at this. I don't know why that, you know, um has become so much an issue anyway why i brought this is that we will be monitoring what is happening i still believe that god is god that can do all things so when next you want to criticize what god cannot do does not exist when next when next you want to criticize that or when next you just want to criticize because somebody else has just criticized that now think well think think well before you do that now, before I round off, there is another another comment from a sister that I respect so much. I know her in person. She said, this healing is real, my brother. I just saw one of my friends, the one with the yellow jacket and her head tied. That woman's leg was bad, bent, that she cannot walk without crutches. I just saw her leg straight and jumping at the same time. To God be the glory, shame unto the devil and to all those talking nonsense now for all i know this sister is not a member of n nsppd yeah nsppd right she's not a member or so i do not think that she will just come up and also uh, uh kind of falsify this 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 thing here she's an honorable woman she's not even a nigerian right the woman with, with honor not even a nigerian so i don't think she would also watch this thing you know my 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 effort here my effort is to restore the faith of those whose faith has been battered and destroyed by the things that is happening in the church a lot of people have their faith has been destroyed because they have met so many fake people meanwhile i am not measuring on a miracle but we cannot say that the lord who died and who could save us from the tyranny of satan cannot also deliver us from the effects of the fall of man. Now, if Jesus cannot do miracles, 
to a kind of alleviate us from some form of suffering and the imped impediment laid on us as the result of the fall. Then his death and his coming, you know, you know, wouldn't have been said to have restored completely what the devil took away from us at the fall of man. So miracle is part of it, but the best and the greatest miracle any man can have is the miracle of the salvation of the soul of man. So if you are looking for miracle, first and foremost, get the first miracle, the salvation of your soul. Then every other thing shall be added unto you according to the will of God for your life. So what God cannot do does not exist. Yes, it is biblical. It is, it is all right. But nobody should recite that the disguise of laziness. Lazing about, staying around in the church, spending your, your life, wasting your life for religion. Now, that one, God, God cannot help you. You must lay your hand on something. When Moses was standing at the brink of the, the you know, Red Sea and was looking confused, God asked him, what is that in your hand? And he said, a rod. The rod in the hand of Moses was capable of dividing the Red Sea, but Moses didn't know. But he has something. So God needed to start with something in his hand. So don't lazy about. It is when you start to do something that that what God cannot do does not exist becomes complete and true and real in your life. Right? You don't lazy about and you are shouting what God cannot do does not exist and you're not doing anything. Every morning you, you, you wake up and you are hoping for somebody you will uh, with trouble and you know disorganize their life because you want to eat meal now go and walk you will not walk what then would god do how would god do the impossible in your life if you are not working to so find something doing don't be a lazy about it is it is not true in the mouth of the lazy ones what god cannot do does not exist and you stay in one place not through your mouth but if you are up and doing and you have that faith in in you that the lord is capable of blessing the work of your hand don't listen to those that said god does not make people rich all right the blessings of god it makes rich and adds no sorrow to it and somebody may come and tell you that that everywhere you see the you know riches mentioned in the bible is just only about the salvation of jesus my friends there are that there, there are contexts so you cannot you cannot always twist things god makes people rich God can give you an idea, you implement it, and he will go out, he can go out of his way to bring people, angels can direct people that will make that your idea, you know, bring, in bringing that your idea into fruition. So again, I want to say that what God cannot do does not exist. I believe that it is scriptural. God bless you.